What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to zip or unzip files using PowerShell. So first thing we need to do, we need to right click on start and click on Windows PowerShell or just click on start and type Windows PowerShell. Open it up, then you'll get this window. And in here, to zip file, we need to type compress hyphen archive. And if you start typing, you can type couple letters and then press tab and it's gonna autofill. We need to put hyphen little path and then space. And now we need to put destination of our file, the one that we're gonna archive. So for example, for this video tutorial, I'm gonna archive text file. So in here, but what I need to do, I need to put destination of this text file. Since it's on my desktop, I'll have to put desktop path. And if you don't know what's your path, what you need to do, you need to click on file explorer, then go to this PC, click on your local disk, double click on users, your username minus admin, yours could be something else, and then desktop. And this is it. This is going to be your path. So this is what we're going to have to type in our PowerShell for destination. And then in here, we need to type our file name. Mine is going to be text. Then we need to press on space and then hyphen one more time and then destination path. And then same thing, we need to type our destination. So for this video tutorial, I'm just going to save it on my desktop as well. So it's going to be same thing this right here. C, users, admin, desktop, and then I'm going to create a zip file name. I'm just going to name it archive. And then just press enter. Once you do that, it's going to create a zip file on your desktop or any location that you're going to specify. Then, for example, if you have multiple files that you would like to zip, Here's what we need to do. Just arrow up and then in here, after first destination, we need to put comma and then we need to add second file path. So I'm gonna add second document, the one that I have also text file, but it's just doc.txt on my desktop. So same thing, we need to type file path. So as you can see, they're identical paths just the files names are different and then press enter and then also right here we need to change so for example since i already created one file called archive i'm going to name it archive one and then press enter and that's it once it's done it created a second archive file with both files in it if you double click on it you can see both of them in here and now to unzip we need to type expand archive and then same thing, little path. Now we have to type path of the zip file. So it's on my desktop and I'm going to unzip archive one and then we'll have to type destination path. So I'm going to unzip also to my desktop and then what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to unzip into a folder. I'm going to call it unzip and then I'm going to press enter. Once it's done, it created an unzip folder. And if you double click on it, you can see it's just unzip both of your files that were zipped in your archived file. All commands I used in this video, I'm going to put in the description below for reference. And if this video was helpful to you, Press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.